Hey, you're looking at the butt part of the display tablet. Uh, I started the review with this because a lot of people complained about how there is a crimping of the pinching of the cables because of the way this is angled and they wish the cables were on the top. Actually, I prefer the cables on the side, um, having it come out from the side and I wish they made it into one cable instead of three. So you have power, HDMI and the USB cable all in there. Um, it's fine, in my opinion, if you have HDMI. That's the one that sticks out the furthest. If you get an L-shaped HDMI cable, actually it has better cable management. If you put in a DVI cable and L a VGA, which it has, you know it has those big plugs, you would end up you know, having a bit of an issue. It would make this thing wobble because the cable's really thick and it might be stabbing down words and it's in the way. So here's the stand. This is a lock. You got to be careful with this. Once you pick this up, it unlocks and this thing can just drop because it's pretty heavy. Uh, so make sure you got to have a handle as in have one hand holding this and another hand unlocking this. And this could go all the way pretty much down to give you a very flat surface. It actually sits on this and this actually kicks up when it's on um, its flat side. Anyways, let's look at the, the monitor itself. This thing is huge. It's 21 and a half inches, 1080p. This thing measures 52 centimeters across and 32 and a half centimeters vertically. It's pretty heavy as well. Um, it's not something you could bring around or put on your lap. Uh, although future tablets now these days have one cable, one USB-C cable that could power uh, to do the USB uh, as in the mouse aspect of it, the pen aspect of it, and the display itself all in one go. And this thing is already two years old, um, but people still use it. People still use it and because it's still, it's very good. You just need a lot of desk space. So here is the pen. You see it's nice and blue because it's charging and it's charged like this with the USB cable. Uh, it's being stabbed to the back and it's proprietary. Well, not necessarily because you could probably buy these as well. Um, but it has a little tiny thing. Still, it's not a micro USB. And here it is. Let's just show you the magic. Uh, this is Media Bank Paint Pro. I'll be showing you several uh, free programs that you could use to draw, and it takes pressure sensitivity uh, into account. And when it comes to pressure, right, it has two two variables that you could uh, two aspects of drawing that you could attach to pressure sensitivity. Do you want to control how light the ink is, which is this, or how thin, how or how thin or thick, or both at the same time in this case. If I press it down harder, it becomes a big, thick black line. And nice and thin, it's nice and thin and opaque. So, and transparent actually, not opaque. You can actually adjust how much you want of this based on for this program, there's these two adjustments here. Uh, and this also, you could select different types. Let's see, pen. Yeah, this pen is straight up there. Let's see, does it do thickness? Yeah, it's an interesting pen. Uh, Autodesk also works like this as well. Uh, let's just go to Autodesk. This is a sketchbook, by the way, that's bought by Autodesk. So here it is, thin and thick. And they say that if you use a pen, here we go, pressure sensitivity has no impact on a thickness. Because if you push hard on a pen, um, it doesn't make it thicker. But for marker, it's not about how hard you push. Oh, by the way, you can adjust here. It's how long you leave the marker. If you have it nice and quick, it's light. Uh, oh, you can control the slant. So if you just leave it there for a sec, it's, it's light. Anyways, how do I close this? Here we go. And then if you leave it too dark, it becomes darker. Anyways, um, that's Sketchbook. By the way, to get all these to be enabled, you need to install the driver, which is available online. You got to go to UG's website, and then you download. This is for me, the Mac. So you go to download. And this is the Mac and you go click down. Notice how it actually, you could just hover it over and it, it, it works. And, or you could bring it down to the very tip and you see how accurate this is. 
It's right there. And that's because I already calibrated with the, uh, this is the driver that it has. Make sure you uninstall all of the drivers if you have other, um, you go to calibrate and then you, you just calibrate based on touching the crosshairs that it asks for. Um, pen, and then this is pretty much, you could go light, you could just do that. If you go heavy, if you do that, it won't appear unless you push really hard. And it's just, shows how heavy handed you are if you have to go all the way that way you're pretty much stabbing the monitor um let's turn that off so let's let's what did i show you so i showed you sketchbook did i show you this um mischief mischief also works and let's see how mischief is a very nice light program and you see that it has an inch there's a slight lag if you were to go that far um what about Krita? Let's clear this for a second. Where's the clear? There we go. Let's see. Yeah. It, you see there's a... It's not as smooth. It's like boop, 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 boop. Just, just following behind. This one this at least is smooth. Um, and then... So I did... I should show you Media Pang. Uh, this. Mischief. These are all free, by the way. And the last one is GIMP. GIMP is a much bigger program, and yeah, there's a slight lag too. It also goes boop, 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 it just follows. Yeah, but eventually it catches up. Uh, by the way, GIMP, you have to go to, uh, no, not Krita, sorry, let's go back to GIMP. You gotta go to this, and you gotta enable, you see, input devices, you gotta go in there, and then you gotta enable it. Otherwise, the pressure sensitivity doesn't work. Uh, to enable, it says disabled. The mode is disabled, and then it goes to screen. That's when you enable it. Okay, so uh, other things. Menu. For here, you can control the colors. Uh, you can customize what this is. So you can match this to this monitor if you want to, or to match to something else that uh, you want to print out. And... Overall, I think uh, it is an oldie, but a goodie. And you definitely need a lot of desktop space to get this going. Uh, you touch this, it's actually, it's been on for an hour. It's it's still, it's not, it's not hot at all. It's just slightly warm, keeps your hand warm uh, during the winter, but it's not hot. Uh, if you sweat, I would recommend wearing a glove. Uh, and by the way, your fingers won't do anything to it. You need the pen to get it to active. So it's not, it doesn't have that palm issue as well. Uh, the you know, connections is just simply, there's the HDMI and the USB. Hope you enjoyed the review. I will attach a link to uh, to where to buy this at Gearbest, uh, which sells at very low prices, but you gotta watch out for customs. Uh, this is dependent on your country as well. Uh, the, the screen is very bright and sharp at 1080p. So, um, Highly recommend it if you need a large screen. Anyways, uh, have a nice day.